Mill Burney Dam is located in eastern Wake County, just east of Raleigh, a mile north of the Highway 64 bridge and 15 miles south of Falls Lake. It was built in the mid-1800s to help operate a paper mill. Since then, it has been used in support of a grist mill and to generate hydroelectric power. Unfortunately, the dam has sat idle for the past 15 years and is now just a dangerous eyesore that is damaging the environment and wildlife. It's really a neglected structure. We've had drownings at the dam. It looks calm. It's very deceptive. We've got the Raleigh Greenway behind us. We've got a canoe launch over here. This is a popular place to fish. So you could have uh, parents bringing their children, which has happened, and being very responsible and, and getting warm and going for a swim, not knowing that this is a, a very deadly current just behind me. What this water does is it goes up and down, so it actually falls out from beneath your body and drags you under it. There's no way to outswim that. This is a killer. Dams are definitely hazards. Um, they can create um, unsafe conditions for people that are swimming or boating in the river. Um, so if they're no longer serving a purpose, it makes a lot of sense to get them out. This dam is definitely a priority for removal um, around the state because uh, of the uniqueness of the noose, um, the fact that it will open up another 15 miles of river habitat for migratory fish, um, and also the fact that um, it will benefit a number of rare fish, mussel, uh, crayfish, and other species, um, including some of which only live in the Noose River and nowhere else in the world. This particular area of the Noose is most important because it's as far as migratory fish, anadromous fish, for example, like striped bass and, and American shad, it's as far as they can come. Uh, they're stopped by, in their spawning migration by this, by this dam that's right behind us. By removing a dam like Mill Burney, uh, it would allow these fish that for years, eons, have been migrating up the Noose River beyond this point, uh, access to more of their historic spawning habitat, make it more like a river rather than a lake, which exists up above this, uh, this dam right now. Our company, Restoration Systems, has four primary goals removing the Mill Burney Dam. The first is to improve the water quality behind the dam, from what's now an oxygen-poor lake-like environment to a free-flowing, oxygen-rich river environment. The second is to establish a more appropriate aquatic community, that which suits shallow water species and things that live on the bottom that now are covered up by a lake. The third is to increase the amount of habitat for threatened and endangered species which haven't been able to live behind the dam for more than 100 years. And the fourth is to remove a barrier to migratory fish in the spring. The Mill Burney Dam Removal Project has been proposed as a mitigation bank. A mitigation bank is a way to finance doing good deeds for the environment. In order to pay for the removal of the dam, we have applied to state and federal agencies for offset credits that can be sold to developers to offset their damage to the environment elsewhere in Wake County and surrounding counties. Removing the Mill Burney Dam is going to vastly improve the area behind the dam. Right now it's a stagnant lake, which people really don't use that much. Now that the greenways come through and passes along that lake, people want access to the river. They want to play, enjoy, and recreate in a river and have easy access to flowing water. Removing the Mulberney Dam will also uh, benefit paddlers on the river, those that are coming down in canoes and kayaks. So right now when they get to the dam, they have to get out of their boats, carry their boats and all their gear around the dam um, and get back in. So taking the, the dam out will um, remove that obstacle so that people can go directly down the river. Restoration Systems noticed in the late 90s and early 2000s that the federal government had done some incredible work in the Noose River Basin removing dams. First, the Quaker Neck Dam was removed from the Noose River right outside of Goldsboro, and that allowed fish to get all the way up to Mill Burney where we are here today. Next, they remove a dam on a tributary to the Noose just upstream of the former Quaker Neck Dam where the fish could access a slight bit of the river but ran into what was called the Cherry Hospital Dam. That was removed shortly after by the Fish and Wildlife Service and Conservation Groups. After that, the Rains Mill Dam up the Little River was removed. And then finally, in 2005, our company removed the Lowell Dam.
In addition to the Lowell Dam, we removed the Carbonton Dam in 2005. Both the Lowell and the Carbonton Dam removals, some of the largest performed in the United States in that decade, have both turned out very, very well and exceeded our expectations, both ecologically and for recreation. When we take the dam out, it's going to look much like, if not exactly like, the river downstream of the dam today. It'll take a little transition time, but in a couple of years, you won't be able to tell the dam was ever here. This is a real example where we can make things better and better and better, so we can leave a better environment than we, than we got.